<laughs> All right. Welcome back, everybody. We are diving right into this story. Um, it's pretty juicy, right? Did Whoopi Goldberg really get, like, snubbed by a Staten Island bakery <laughs> over her politics? Or a cake. It's crazy how these things blow up. It is, right? Like, you see a headline like that, and you're like, oh, boy, here we go again. But so we've got articles, we've got a transcript, and we're going to figure out what really happened. Not just, you know, skim the surface. I think we're in for some surprises. This is a really interesting story about how different people see the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So let's start with Whoopi side, right? She went on The View and said uh, basically that a bakery in Staten Island wouldn't make her Charlotte Roost desserts for her birthday hmm. because of her political views. OK, so right away, that's a big deal. Refusing service based on politics, especially, you know, in a place like New York City, that could be a, a legal issue for sure. Big time. And Entertainment Weekly actually figured out which bakery it was. Oh. Holterman's Bakery. Yeah. They've got that distinctive packaging, so it wasn't too hard to put two and two together. Holterman's, huh? I've heard of them. They've been around forever, haven't they? Like 145 years or something? Something like that, yeah. Wow. You don't see that very often. To stay in business that long, they've got to be doing something right. Must be pretty popular in the community. Right, exactly. But here's the thing. They say it wasn't politics at all. They had a boiler breakdown. Apparently, their building's from, like, the 1930s and things were, you know, breaking down. So it's a he said, she said kind of thing. Whoopi feels discriminated against and the bakery's saying it was just bad timing. Exactly. And, uh, well, you know, things didn't exactly calm down after that. No. Oh, no. We got our hands on this press conference transcript. And let me tell you, Staten Island officials went all out defending Holterman's. They were talking about their history, how much they do for the community. Right. They even joked about making a Whoopi dessert. Wow. That says something about their place in the community, doesn't it? It's more than just buying a cake. For sure. And there's this one quote from the transcript. I mean, it's priceless. One of the officials, thanks, Whoopi, for all the free publicity this whole thing brought to the bakery. <laughs> the sarcasm is just dripping off the page. Oh, that's funny. So, you know, the whole thing backfired, right? Instead of hurting the bakery, it probably helped them. <laughs> exactly. You can't predict these things, yeah. you know. And get this. Holterman's ended up making the desserts for The View anyway. Oh, no way. Really? Yeah. yeah. So what does that tell you? It's like, whoa, wait a minute. There's more to this story than we thought. Absolutely. It's so easy to jump to conclusions based on what you see on the surface, you know? But there's always more going on behind the scenes. Always. And that's what we're here for. Right. To dig a little deeper. Get the full picture. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of deeper, there's another layer to this whole thing that I find really fascinating. This whole thing with Staten Island, it got me thinking about, you know, local businesses, especially in a place like Staten Island, which is kind of like in the shadow of Manhattan, right? Yeah. 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 It's easy to forget that New York City is more than just like skyscrapers in Times Square. You've got all these neighborhoods with their own like unique vibe, their own history. Exactly. And places like Holterman's, they've been around for what, like three, four generations? Yeah. They become part of the fabric of the place. You know? Absolutely. They're not just businesses. They're like community centers almost. Yeah. Gathering places. Right. And you think about it like Everyone's got memories tied to those kinds of places, yeah. like the pizza place you went to as a kid or the bookstore where you like discovered your favorite author or whatever. Oh, for sure. Those places hold a special place in your heart. You know, it's like they're part of your own personal story and part of the community story, too. It's like they're landmarks almost. Yeah, exactly. And that shared history, it creates a sense of belonging, a feeling of like being connected to something bigger than yourself. And I think that's what we saw with Holterman's, right? Like the way the whole community rallied around them. It was about more than just defending a business. It was about defending something that was theirs. Totally. Like like a, an unspoken agreement, right? Yeah. We support you, you support us, and together we make this community what it is. And it makes you wonder, like, what if we all made more of an effort to support our local businesses? To see them as more than just places to buy stuff. Yeah, what would happen? I mean, imagine the impact it would have, not just on the businesses themselves, but on the whole community, on how connected people feel, even on the local economy. It's like a ripple effect, right? <laughs> Starting with that one decision to shop local, to, to really engage with the people and places that make your neighborhood special. It's about recognizing the value they bring, you mm -hmm. know? Not just, like, the products they sell, but that sense of community, that personal touch, that connection to something bigger than ourselves. Exactly. And that's something worth thinking about, don't you think? Like, what are those places in your own community that deserve your support? What are their stories? And how do they, like, add to your life? 
Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Like you, you start with this misunderstanding, you know, all these different perspectives clashing, but then what comes out of it, it's like the, the community, you see how strong they are, how much they care about each other. It's like finding something good in a bad situation. Right, exactly. exactly. And the good thing here, I think, is how much people value their local businesses. They're mm. not just places to buy things. They're like the heart of the neighborhood. Yeah, it's that feeling of connection, right? Yeah. It's like we're all part of something bigger. Exactly. And when people feel connected like that, the whole community benefits, you know? So as we wrap up, I want to I want to leave you with this. Mm. Think about your own community, right? What are those special places, those hidden gems? You know, that little bookstore, that family restaurant, that uh, that weird little shop that always makes you smile. I love those places. Yeah. What are their stories? What yeah. makes them special? And how can you, you know, show them some love? Because when you support your local businesses, you're not just buying something. You're supporting the people behind them, the community they're a part of. Yeah, that's it. Couldn't have said it better myself. Yeah. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. It's been quite a ride from celebrity gossip to uh, community spirit and even a little bit of dessert drama. We'll see you next time. And until then, stay curious.